It has recently came to my attention that the world's largest fish market is in New York City, the Bronx. And the Bronx, from my house, is only three hours away. Issue number one is it's only open from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. That is it. It is called Fulton Fish Market. The Fulton Fish Market. It is absolutely nuts. It is 11 o'clock at night. And all I'm doing right now is sitting in my mom's car because it's cheaper on gas. We're waiting on Todd. And we are headed to New York City right now. We're only going to be in New York for about an hour, but we we're driving there to pick up whatever. Like, I, I don't even know what I'm picking up. I'm going to pick up multiple stuff, but pretty much the weirdest thing or more, most like unique thing to me, I'm going to pick up and we're going to cook out of the bed of the truck. Oh, well, it's dark. <laughs> I just, yeah, here we go. We're doing it. I've been wanting to do this for so long and it feels so good that we're finally going to be able to do this. None of the lights work in here. Cool. Really cool. So yeah, let's go to the Fulton Fish Market, bring you guys along with. We're about to see some crazy cool stuff. I've heard stories about this place and it just feels really surreal that I'm actually going to be able to go there tonight. Let's do this thing. I'm so excited. I'm ready to buy a lot of stuff there and have some fun. Eleven oh one at night and we are about to head out. I just made an entire thing of iced coffee. And here we go. Also, can we talk about my fit? We got pajama pants matching the Guggen Squad red sweatshirt. <laughs> Thanks for the cooler. How stoked are you? I'm pretty stoked. What are you going to get I there? Am, but I'm stoked. I literally just woke up from a nap. Well, you can you can sleep the whole time. What am I gonna get when I get there? Yeah, like uh, probably the grossest thing I can find. The grossest thing you can find. The grossest thing I think that Ralph and I will eat. That's a good game plan. I want to get the weirdest thing too, but like, I don't know. We'll see what we're they have. See, we're probably gonna see some weird stuff. Very weird stuff. That's my guess. Okay. Like weird. Yeah. All right. Let's do this thing. Keep you guys updated, but for now, we gotta hit the road. Keep going, working hard. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of road work right now. Um, and I just love it. It's my favorite thing. But we're about like 50 minutes away. It is 12:52. We're gonna get there a tad bit early. Thank goodness, I love being early. I do love being early. I feel like you're late to everything though. Yeah. Anyways, we're almost there. <laughs> guys thanks i've heard that once you walk into the store you smell like it for like four days like you just you're gonna reek like fish so bad which oh, we're both point. used to mostly you because <laughs> you work on a, a ocean boat how's it going Hi. i've never been here okay we don't open until two okay and you don't let anyone in until two right no. that's what i heard Okay. It's $7 to come in. $7 to come in? Okay. And that's the line you have to wait on. I have to wait in that entire line? Yeah. We gotta go to the end, huh? You're gonna have to go wherever the end is. How long does, do you usually... Go by quick. Cool. Yeah. It, it may look longer. There's a lot of trailers probably out there that makes it look longer. Alright, let's do it. But it goes quick. Alright, I'm gonna back up. Um, What's the, up. the best time to get here is like an hour ago? No, but, but yeah. Well, no, you can stop walking there like 8 o'clock. Oh! At night? No! Look, look at all this. That's just, just, it keeps going and keeps going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
748. A little over 50 because I started counting late. Yeah, I'm so definitely there is over 50. Over 50 vehicles in front of us. We are at the end. This is what they call the end of the line. Todd and I are second to last in line of 50 cars. It, it's pretty brutal, but the lady seemed really cool, so I think we're gonna make it in pretty soon. But this My is way more, minutes. yeah, this is way more intimidating than I could have ever imagined. This is crazy, and hopefully we don't miss out on too much uh, being We're not bought. guesstimating the 50 cars thing either, I actually count. No, I mean, he did count. But yeah, this is crazy. So we'll um, see you guys when we get through the gates, I guess. I'm, I'm ready. People are coming in with everything under the kitchen sink. Do you hear that guy screaming? Someone, someone's matched Todd. Let's go! Not trying to be in the Bronx with Todd anymore. This is absolutely nuts. Are these salmon? That's my hand. Those are huge. give me your card it's gonna be uh whatever i thought she said 39 because that was how much it is a pound it was like 39 something and she rang me up for 392 dollars and she told me to deal with it this lady just charged my card 400 dollars for uh, this is an entire box of crab legs i'm not for one person for one I got crab legs because Lila, you know, I, I, Lila asked for crab legs, I'm gonna get her crab legs. I wanted a pound of crab legs and they charged me for a whole entire box, $400. I just got scammed. I just got scammed. She literally just like swiped my card. She was like, oh, you didn't look at it? Sorry. Savage. What is going Savage. on? I, be, I didn't even have gas money to get here. You gotta, if anyone wants to buy some like really beautiful crab legs. I'm taking my mom out to a dinner tonight. No, you're taking her to crab legs tonight. And it's like a fancy restaurant. Dude, look at this. I haven't even opened it. Here we go. Unboxing. Unboxing at $400. Oh my God. It's for real though. Look, that's my hand. That's $400 right there, folks. Enjoy that. Bro. I thought I spent a lot of money. I mean, it makes me feel better. You spent money too, but I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna pass out. Really disappointed in myself. I came here. I, I want a catfish. <laughs> He goes, oh, you're back already. That one looks, look, yeah. Right? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect, I'll, I'll take it. Beautiful, whose catfish is that? I'm sweating. 
I feel sick to my stomach. Four hundred dollars. So we got a, been a long ride to think about that. Yes. Yes, we do. Literally, I said right when I started the video, can't afford gas, took my mom's car. How did my card not get declined? Not sure. I have zero service. I probably overdrafted. <laughs> By a lot. By a lot. Like, <laughs> probably 350 bucks. Go team. We're, <laughs> this is the best video ever. <laughs> Let's go. All right, time to go home. Four hours, three hours home. It's been a day. It's been a, It's only 3 a.m. and it's been a very wild day. Can't wait to tell Lila about this one. Hey, remember when you asked for your crab legs and I told you I'd get a pound? Oh yeah, dude. Well, I'm just the best significant other, so I decided to get you $400 worth. All right, well, let's go home. <laughs> I'm right here, I'm just kidding. Well, we're here. This is a couple days later, and here are our $400 of, of crab legs. I did indeed decide to share with my mom and Lila, so everyone's been getting a little bit of the crab legs recently, which is awesome. There's about 10 pieces left that we're gonna invite a couple people and friends over and we're just gonna eat them. How so is the crab it? legs are getting Delicious. put to good That's use, which is really mom. awesome. Um, everyone in my family it has been laughing at me um, or with me about my mistake and, and that's fine. And then, I don't know how much you guys got to see, but this is the disgustingly ugly catfish that we got. I went there knowing that they had catfish and that was like the number one thing on my list that I was like, I gotta find them and I really want them. But little did I know I was about to spend $400 on crab legs. No. That was supposed to be like a cool cinematic shot. All right, I got water to clean them off. That's disappointing. There's supposed to be like a crate right here um, that, you know, we've cooked this, these crab legs a couple times, so I've got it pretty dialed and I left the crate just sitting at home so we don't have it, but um, the crabs aren't technically supposed to be touching the water, which is pretty, pretty annoying, but luckily they're already pre-cooked, so I'm not too concerned, but if you're going to do this, just don't have the crab up here. You should have like a little crate or something. But it's all right. And that's really it. Pretty simple. We're gonna cook this bad boy. And that's it. That crate is honestly really important. Kind of bummed out. I left it right on the kitchen, but um, we're camping tonight, so I'm not gonna go all the way back when we only have a couple, not even a couple hours, probably like an hour of sunlight left. And the mosquitoes are insane because we just had so much rain recently. It's drizzling right now, but the mosquitoes are coming in, coming in hot. Mmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've always wanted to try catfish. From the bottom of my heart, I love catfish. 
I'm gonna get him cleaned off. I think he pooped himself when I when I dropped him. Brand new fillet knife that I can't get open. Ah, here we go. Brand new stainless steel, three dollars. Can't beat it. We're gonna be using a lot of this meat for different applications, which may or may not be one of the next videos. So I'm gonna take probably from like here to the tail and fillet it like that. I've never filleted a catfish, but I can't imagine it's too different from what I am have done in the past. That's really nice meat though. That was not too bad of a fillet. My skills are definitely improving. Look at these catfish. Look at its teeth. Thing's crazy. I mean, we've been on a journey on this channel with my fillet skills, and the hut's pretty, pretty good for me. There's. It's a squirrel. That was the perfect skin. Okay, well, ignore that. I got, look how much meat I left on it, just this. Alaskan king crab legs, baby. I've had the king crab legs. So I'll, I'll write them for you guys, of course. But gosh, I'm so curious on this, this catfish. The catfish looked very messed up, but. You know what? I kind of understand why down south, nearly everywhere you go has catfish it's very simple i guess you could say like it was just it's just simple tasting i don't know i mean it looks good it's like very white and flaky of a fish i don't know that's not too shabby and i really sucked in all the flavor of the garlic the butter and the lemon quite well which some fish won't i'm not a chef nor a scientist but some fish doesn't they just don't soak up the flavor like others um you know sometimes people will say that's because you have to marinate it or whatever i don't think so but that's pretty good i like that a lot so i have yet to try a claw which is super exciting we will be doing that then all you do is you take your butter which to be frank it doesn't need butter but Butter makes everything taste better when it comes to dipping your seafood. That's so ridiculous. That's one of the best pieces I've gotten. Never thought that this is how I'd be spending my life. Eating a king crab and a, and a channel catfish out of the bed of my truck. If you told me that a couple years ago, I would have been like, yeah, okay real funny luckily i did not make a bigger piece of that catfish because wow one king crab leg fills you up and i grabbed two one and a half honestly and a claw 
So, mm. I really do understand why people go out of their way to eat Alaskan king crab over like a snow crab or a blue crab or a dungeon crab. I get it. I do. I just can't fathom to spend this type of money. <laughs> There's a difference. There's a big difference. I'm having a good day, guys. What about you? Ah, I just got eaten. How many times have I gotten bitten sitting here? Yeah, I'm gonna finish with probably another one. And then I'm gonna hop in the bed of the truck and relax. The sun is definitely setting fast. And I'm definitely getting eaten alive. I don't have enough hands to smack. <laughs> I gotta close up my table. But not a bad view for tonight, huh? Oh, I don't know how well you can see that. I was just about to go to the bathroom. I've been on my phone for like an hour doing a couple things that I can't tell you guys just yet. You'll find out soon. We, <laughs> we are basically underwater right now. I think it's a high full moon. I think it's a full moon right now. The truck is pretty much completely in the water. <laughs> this is not funny. What if I was, what if I ended up falling asleep? That is water. We are in water. <sighs> Look. Like these are all shrimp. Can you guys see all the shrimp? This is insane. It literally goes all the way up there too. Like, this is gonna get even deeper and deeper. Okay, we gotta, we, we gotta move. Like look, just to get to my truck. This is what happens when you're truck camping and it's a moon tide. So it's a full, so it's a high tide plus the moon tide and my truck is like my truck would probably be completely underwater if i didn't uh notice just just shrimp everywhere just hanging out with my truck and i had no idea this is crazy <sighs> all right well <laughs> only me I guess no one would break into my truck without me hearing it throughout the night because they would have to basically swim all the way to my truck. That is so crazy. Sorry I look like this. I was just laying down and I went to go to the bathroom and I was like, <laughs> a lot of locals will probably know exactly where I'm truck camping. Oh my God, there's swans. There's swans. Can you guys see them? They're so much closer than it probably looks. It's literally water. <laughs> I have no comments. Wait, I wonder. I'm just running into trees. I wonder if I should sleep on this path. I went pretty deep into it, but that is so funny. This is That was easily like top five. One of my favorite things. is, oh, sorry. And I just went on my phone and I checked and it said that it wasn't even high tide yet. So that means the tide is just climbing and climbing and climbing and it's not gonna, like that wasn't even high tide, it's still gonna keep going. Um, so that ruins my chances of camping at that spot. 
I might honestly just head home. Um, tomorrow's a really big day for me, and you guys are probably like, oh my god, tell us, why is tomorrow a big day? But I can't. I can't. Let's just say there's a project that's currently brewing, and it's in the works. So we have something really, really cool and really, really exciting coming to the channel. And I was on my phone. I mean, it's already like midnight. I've been on my phone and I haven't gotten off my phone because all I'm doing is just researching, researching and researching and researching my heart out because of what this project is that we have coming. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like I put my heart and soul to this channel and I think I finally found like a niche I guess you could say that I haven't seen before and like this whole truck camping thing a couple people do do it and I love it and I'm never gonna stop truck camping but I think I found something else too like no one wants to watch someone do the same exact thing all the time I am very well aware of that I don't think there's any fun in watching me do a lot of the same stuff the whole goal for the channel is to be able to truck camp to go on hikes and backpacking and uh, sleep here sleep there hammock camp this type of camping and obviously incorporate a heck of a lot of fishing and catch and cooks like I just want this channel to be very diverse when it comes to being you know in the outdoors but I don't think camping is really ever gonna leave the channel like ever especially truck camping I think that is something I'm never gonna give up. I love truck camping so much. Basically, I have something. And what I have is going to allow us so much freedom that I can't even explain. I'm just so excited to like share my thoughts with you guys. I want you to know like this channel hasn't even scratched the surface. Like, we haven't even discovered anything yet. Like, we have so much to do. It's insane. Like, I know for a fact I could hold up a camera and create videos and content every single day for probably 10 years and not get bored of it. Every single day for 10 years, hold up a camera and talk. I could not get bored of it. Maybe even more than 10 years. But I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna record a video every single day so you guys you know don't get sick of me. I get sick of hearing myself when I edit so I can't even imagine how you guys feel. That four hundred dollars is definitely going was supposed to go towards um, my parents so mom and dad, I'm sorry, just give me some time. <laughs> At least my parents get to enjoy the crab legs with me anyways I'm just rambling at this point because there's so much going on in my brain like so much going on in my brain it's insane and I think I just need to like sit down with like my laptop my phone and my tv going with youtube videos on stuff on how to do this and I think I'm gonna just be going through it tonight but in the best way possible sorry for the lengthy outro I I'm gonna go inside hang out with my dog because she's the most beautiful dog in the entire world and I'm gonna figure out my life let's just say big things are coming like the coolest project I could ever imagine and I think I'm buying it tomorrow and I th think I'm gonna stop right there and not say anything else just know I love you guys <laughs> sometimes mm-hmm Hi, party. <laughs> That's, she does that when she gets annoyed with me. Anyways, we came home. We're hanging out with Sky, and life is good. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.